In order to extract DNA from plant material, you will need the following. Fresh broccoli, a bigger container, teaspoon, kitchen salt, a smaller container, a funnel, a blender or a knife, a coffee filter, washing up liquid, a stirrer, 10 milliliters of chilled alcohol, about 300 milliliters of ordinary tap water. The first step is to break down broccoli into little pieces. You start by breaking off the heads. You can do this by hand or use a knife. It is important to get rid of the hard parts. It's very difficult to extract DNA from them. Only the broccoli flower heads go into the bigger container where you have some tap water. Then you complete the process using a blender. You need to break the plant material down to an appropriate degree. After blending for a while, mix everything with a spoon in order to blend also those parts which are at the bottom, and then continue blending. At what point have you achieved the required degree of blending? The material must be somewhat broken down because the cell walls must be cut. However, if you blend it too much into little pieces smaller than one millimeter, you may also damage the DNA. Then you pour a little water and add a flat teaspoon of ordinary table salt. Mix it with a spoon. The thus prepared liquid now has to be filtered. You take a coffee filter, a funnel, and a smaller vessel with a volume of at least 100 milliliters. The funnel must sit stably in the vessel in which you pour the liquid. It is important that the filtrate contains only liquid with dissolved DNA. This takes a bit of time. You don't have to filter everything. Once you see that the vessel is about half full, then you can finish. If the filter gets blocked, you can squeeze the paper filter and use your fingers to help the filtrate along, but it is important that the filter does not break. Next, pour a little washing up liquid into a separate vessel and then dip a coffee stirrer into it so that the tip is immersed in it. Put the stirrer with the washing up liquid into our solution and mix very slowly so that the solution doesn't foam. You have to devote a little time and care at this stage. Then, you leave the stirrer with detergent immersed in the filtrate and allow the liquid to dissolve slowly. You wait about two to three minutes. Then you can delicately remove the stirrer from the vessel and add chilled alcohol to the filtrate. You add the alcohol very slowly, pouring it down the side of the vessel. The point is that two layers should form. They won't be ideally visible, but sufficiently so. You see that the lower layer of our solution is somewhat darker, and the upper somewhat lighter. This is the alcohol on top. What happens now? DNA, which dissolves well in water, is not visible in our original filtrate. However, it dissolves less well in alcohol. It now starts to move up towards the alcohol where it precipitates, and so DNA threads at last start to be visible. The first effects can be seen almost immediately, within the first minute. But the longer we wait, the more visible the effects will be. It is best to wait about 10 minutes.